Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500 and welcome back to yet another new project. Now, I didn't want another car. I've already got two, but I saw this one and I just had to have it. Uh, I bid on it while I was at work and I won it. It's a lovely little car, which will be a really quick, or should be a really quick turnaround. Let me show you what we got. No surprises again. We have another grey car, same colour, 735 grey. And this one is another colour therapy. You know how much I love a colour therapy. Now, unfortunately, it's not got the colour therapy wheel trims on. However, I have sourced some and I already had some as well, all of which need a refurb. Um, so we'll have nice sparkling new ones on it. Um, excuse my voice, uh, I've got a bit of hay fever today. Sounds like I've got a cold. So as you can see, this has got no damage at the back. No damage whatsoever. The aerial is missing, so I'm hoping it's inside the car. I haven't looked in this car at all. I've literally driven it down the drive from the transporter. It arrived this morning and I didn't even know it was coming. I looked out the way, I just sat down to have me, actually I was cooking my breakfast. Uh, happened to look out the window and saw it outside on the back of a trailer. Didn't even know it was coming. Driver told me that he would try to, it was the same driver who delivered the last one, uh, delivered that one, I think. Um, and uh, he, uh, he said he tried to call me last night because he was going to deliver it last night. Uh, and my number came up as a, tr as a recovery company for some reason. So I don't know what that is, so he didn't call me. Um, yeah, strange one. Anyway, let's show you around the car. We'll start at this side first. Um, this is, I have to say, unfortunately, a Cat S. So as you can see, dodgy, horrible wheel trims, but very good tires, lovely tires. Um, Roof-wise, can't see anything on there. That's a bit of glue stuck there. I thought it was a scratch for a minute, but it's not. No, roof's all okay. So nothing on the quarter panel whatsoever. Door is all good. Little mark there, but it's just dirt. Obviously, we've got the white mirrors, as it's a colour therapy. Do love a colour therapy. And going down here, as far as I can see, it's a bit dirty, but as far as I can see, there's no seal damage at all. Again, almost new tyre, cheap ones, but almost new. Uh, as you can see, it's a P. So P stands for premium. So it's an insurance, excuse me, I'm hiccuping. It's an insurance car, but it's a premium one, i.e. it's better than most. I'll leave you to judge, be the judge of that, but uh, so coming down to the bumper, no damage. The bonnet, now I'm not sure whether there's damage around the other side or not. I couldn't quite tell in the pictures. If it is, it's minimal. Uh, not sitting very square. I don't think the, the uh, front panel's gonna have gone because it's side damage, not front damage. As I say, this is a Cat S. I think I probably know why it's a Cat S, but we'll show you the damage now. Actually, let's show you it last. Let's tease you. Let's go around to the other side, starting from the back. Sorry, I know I'm cruel. So coming to this side, no damage. And yet another fantastic tire. Cheap, but fantastic. No damage whatsoever. Very, these are very discolored. Maybe they just need a blacking up. Um, now the door is damaged. Now I was gonna try and repair it, but I have actually bought a door and I've already got it. It's already arrived. I'm glad I did because whilst that could be repaired, um, I don't think, I'd, I'd, I've tried to pull this dents like this out with slide hammers before and it wasn't very successful, so I shall be dumping that door. Unless anyone wants it, of course, if you want it. I'm gonna strip it down, I'm gonna take the glass out, take the motors out, everything. 
but if you want it, it's yours for free. Now we come on to the damage. So there is a little bit of damage here. Um, there's a bit of a dent there. So I might actually try to fill that, pull it out as much as I can and fill it. May not even need a fill, because that seems daft. It's a little bit, yeah, don't know whether I'll be able to straighten that up sufficiently or not. Don't know, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, because um, again, I have actually, I don't know if you've seen the other video yet. You may not have seen the other video that I mentioned this, but um, I have bought the front end of a gray car, of a Sport. Uh, and the only thing I needed from that was the bumper. This bumper's okay, it will repair. A little bit of damage, but it will repair fine. Um, but the only damage, uh, the only thing that I needed for, out of the front end that I've bought, is the Sport bumper. It's got a wing, although I have already bought a wing. Um, and it's got a bonnet. So I have got a wing and a door already. Already got them. So, as you can see, it, it's potentially going to be a really quick... Um, repair this one looks like it's already got new number plates on so i won't have to be uh, changing number plates um it doesn't look like there's any suspension damage the wheels wheel seems to be in straight line obviously the wings in but uh, certainly as far as the uh, where the wheels are pointing certainly looks all right and it certainly doesn't look like it's been pushed back at all it looks in the right place completely the gaps are okay so it's a strange one but obviously we will inspect all that underneath anyway. But as far as I can see, no damage. Um, so that's it, as far as I know. Um, I think under the bonnet, I don't know whether the front panel's gone or not. I don't think so. I do know that at least one of the headlight brackets has gone. Um, obviously the DRL is broken, but that can be repaired because no doubt the, uh, the tabs will be on it. Um, I haven't looked inside now. On the inside, on one of the photos, which I'll put up now, you can see on the shelf, there's some manuals. Whether there's a service history there or not, remains to be seen. I haven't looked. I really haven't looked. I always do this live with you. So when we get in the car, we'll grab all that and have a look, see what we've got. Uh, but before we do that, I'm just gonna pop the bonnet and we'll have a look at the front panel. I'm hoping that the front panel's not all bent up. Don't think it is, but we won't really know until we uh, get it open. Let's have a look. All right, so. Under there is probably why it's a Cat S. I imagine the front, the, uh, the inner wing has buckled a little bit there on the top. Now I might be able to hammer that straight. I'll have to compare it to, uh, when I get the wing off of this one, I'll compare it, but I think it's tipping down at the front. I'm not sure actually, is it? Or is that how it's meant to be? Oh no, that's how it goes. It's not. No, it does go like that. I thought it was sticking up in the air a little bit. Maybe it is a little bit. Yeah, I think it is a little bit. So we'll have to try and straighten that out as much as we can. Yeah, not sure about that. Um, but that'll be why it's Cat S. So I don't really intend to put a new one on unless it is completely mullered. In which case um, I will cut it out and I'll get the uh, mobile mechanic guy to weld a new one in. But I think it'll be all right. I don't think I'm going to need to do that but we'll see that's popped up obviously with the impact so this actually feels a little bit loose got the original battery um, this is as you can tell from the vertical ECU this is a pre facelift facelift um, so it's got the nicer seats and etc inside aircon obviously oh it's had a new cylinder look it's had a new master cylinder that's brand new I wonder if it's had a new slave as well. I don't think it has had a new slave because I did. I do believe. Let me have a look at it. It doesn't look that old. Um, I, do, I do believe that I heard it squeaking. Now it might be squeaking because it's been sitting around for a month. Um, don't know, but we'll see. Front panel looks absolutely fine. Um, the gap down there looks absolutely fine, so it doesn't look like it's been pushed back. Oh, I reckon this is my front. I reckon this is, oh, maybe not, but it might be. There's a big truck. I'm expecting all this stuff coming on a big pallet. I wonder, oh no, he's gone straight past. I thought that might have been him for a minute. Never mind. So it is coming today. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be in a big pallet box. It might be it, maybe he's just missed the door number. Uh, where were we? Yeah, so 
Obviously, colour therapy, it's got aircon, which is nice. Um, yeah, all looks good under here. Cam belt hasn't been done. Um, but yeah, it's good that it's had a new clutch uh, master cylinder. But oh yeah, I don't reckon it has had a new slave. Original battery, I think I've already said that. Um, that's nice and tight, which makes a change. That's not broken. Yeah, we've got a broken tab on that. Oh, and the headlights. Oh, look at that, how annoying is that? So that headlight, again, has got to be thrown away because of that, unless I can weld some plastic in there. That's a shame. That one's all right by the looks of it. Obviously, the impact was the other side, wasn't it? So that all looks good. So not much wrong under there. The only issue is potentially that inner wing which we may or may not be able to do anything about. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I suppose we ought to have a look in the inside now, haven't we? Yeah. Do we look at the front tyre on this side? Yeah, good tyre again. Horrible wheel trims. Oh, it's got aftermarket locking wheel nut there, look. I hope the key's in here somewhere. Why on earth would you put aftermarket locking wheel nuts on a on these type of alloy, oh, these type of uh, steel wheels. <laughs> Strange thing to do, unusual. Um, I hope the key's in the car. That's all I can hope for, fingers crossed. Right, let's, uh, let's get on the inside and have a look. Right, I've just seen on the floor in the back is the uh, aerial, so that's good. So, there it is down there. It's got a decent set of mats in actually, almost new by the looks of it, just need a bit of a clean up the front ones. Um, back seats look completely unmarked. They don't need a clean at all, this is a really, really clean car. Yeah, front seats are clean as well, they, they don't even need a clean at all. Yeah, nothing. That's probably going to be done by Copart. Greasy hands. Um, we've, got, we've got an aftermarket stereo in this. Let me show you. Let's jump in. Oh, got the window down at the minute. Look, see all that stuff under there? Now, we got a Kenwood aftermarket stereo. I don't know if it's got a CD player, but what it has got is obviously whoop, Spotify and there's a microphone there. So it obviously does Bluetooth for the phone, so that's good. So I won't need to put one of my media units in. There's no point. Um, I'm itching to look at that, but I'm going to leave that for a minute. I want to show you the best bit. So this is really, really clean. So, you know, st standard colour therapy. We've got the colour gear knob. Um, no, no steering controls, obviously, because it's, a, it's a basically a funked up pop. Um, so everything is really clean. This is a really, really looked after clean car. It's nice. It is nice. It, it seems to run very nice, um, as I've only driven it down the drive, but it sounded, engine sounded really, really sweet. Let me show you the best bit. Watch. Look at that mileage, 24,619 miles. 24,000, check tyre pressures. 24,000 miles, stereo's coming on. Funky, isn't it? When I first saw this, I thought, oh, I'm going to replace this. I think, I'm wondering whether that would look better black. I don't know, it goes cream with that, I suppose, but I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it. Nothing coming through it. Uh, we've got no aerial, I suppose. I don't know if it's got CD. I don't know if, the, if anything flips or source. iPod. Spot, oh, look, Spotify connecting. Obviously won't connect to the other person's account, I shouldn't think. Don't know how that works, obviously from your phone. BT audio. Yeah, so it's... Uh, where's FM then? There's a phone button there. Uh, band. And yeah, what do you get to? Auxiliary. Standby. Radio, there we go. Oh yeah. Nothing coming out because we've got no aerial. Uh, so, where's the power button? 
Yeah, turn that off. Um, yeah, 24,619 miles. The only warning light we've got up is the tyre pressure light. So, obviously, there's a tyre low. Um, yeah, look at that. Got about a third, third of a tank of petrol, just over a third of a tank of petrol. Uh, really, really clean car. Barely a mark on it, apart from the obvious. Um, let's have a look at all this stuff. Let's just grab all this out onto the seat and then we'll have a delve into it and see what we got. That answers my other question. Locking wheel nuts, we'll take those off, don't need those. We'll take those off and sell those. Um, yeah, aftermarket ones. I wonder why they bought aftermarket ones and not a, not Fiat ones. So that's good. Uh, right, we have a very full thing here. I'm just hoping the service issues here. So we have, um, this is the last MOT, so it was MOT'd in January, um, so the MOT doesn't run out to the 31st of January 2025, so that's nice, although it is a KS of course, that means I've got to MOT it, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, some other MOTs, I'm hoping, hoping and hoping and hoping there's a service book in here, don't think there is, don't think there is, oh how annoying. So we've got the quick guide, the CD, that thing. That's not here, is it? That's another quick guide thing, handbook. Oh, can you believe it? No service history, everything but the service history. Why? What we got here? Well, I won't show the person's name. Um, £325, remove, refit, furbished refurbished dash pod ah so it's had a new speedo oh new speedo a refurbished dash pod dash pod refurb 202 pounds plus vat labor was 69 pounds that was probably an hour's labor wasn't it 202 pounds for parts plus vat so they had a new a refurbished dash pod which i assume they mean that and it cost them 325 pounds wow uh, at white heart service station and that was done on the 21st of january 2020 um what we have to hope now of course is the mileage is correct and it's not done 150,000 miles <laughs> i'd like to think that if it was done professionally um then i'd like to think that it was done um uh, you know properly and they adjusted the mileage to what it should be uh, obviously we can check the body computer to double check that but yeah looks like that's the case um i'm just going to take the camera off of there so i can look at the person's name yeah it's got the person's name on there no bloody service book that's really really a shame what else we got here flux score smart box oh there might be a uh, there might be a black box hidden in here somewhere um, we'll have a look under the dash and that. So everything but the service, but unless it's under the seat. Now these seats don't always have the flip up one on the, on the uh, because these are like the pre-facelift, facelift seats. I haven't looked in the boot actually, could be in the boot, you never know. I've looked in that thing there, it's not there. Ah, oh, that's really, really disappointing that is. It's just whack that all that lot on the floor for the moment. I'd rather have the service history and not all that. Ah, oh, that's a nuisance. Right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go around and see if this, seat does flip actually I can do it from here can't I yeah, it does flip up please 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 be in here no nothing there uh, the, the photos from Copart the boot was empty so I don't think we're going to find anything in there that's really really disappointing how annoying I mean we can get, tend to trace the service history and the fact that it's only done 24,000 miles but it probably hasn't had that many services to be fair because it hasn't been used much has it um, yeah, that's disappointing. Right, let's have, let's have a look in the boot. See if there is anything in there. Don't suppose it's going to be. At least we've got a back shelf. Plastic bag. No, 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 nothing. That's a shame. Oh well, can't have everything, can we? Disappointing, but uh, yeah, 
So yeah, looking at this bonnet, I wonder if I'll be able to fix that. As soon as I've got one, I'm just wondering whether it might be easier just to put a new one on. Fix that at a later date or sell it as it is. That might be better, just sell it as it is. Yeah, might, be, might not be worth the hassle really. It's a shame it's caught that, but uh, never mind. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it, isn't it really? We've looked at the cam belt, cam belt's not been done. Only done 24,000 miles. I know it's 10 years old, so it is, a, it is due really. Um, we'll, we'll make a decision whether to do that or not. Wheel trims, as I said, uh, I have I already had three, which I, I didn't even realise I had. Since I've been um, tidying my garage up, I found them. So we had three and I bought another three. Um, so I have got enough. Uh, I think they all pretty much, one or two of them are all right. But um, obviously you need a full set if they're gonna be, because they, they end up being a different color when you paint them. So I'll refurbish the dodgy ones I've got and stick those on. We can then put it back to how it should look as a color therapy. Uh, but that's it, I think. That is the walk around. Uh, haven't got a name yet. I don't know, what should we call it? Down to you now. Now, can we have some sensible names this time, please? You come out with some right duff names in the past. Some good ones, but quite a few duff ones. So uh, yeah, if you can think of a name there that we can call it, based on the number plate. I would be, uh, any suggestions will be gratefully received. Let's walk around on the new project. What do you think? It's a cracker, isn't it? It's a shame about that inner wing. Um, hopefully I'll be able to bash that back into shape. If not, we'll just have to get another one, a new one welded in. I'll have a look online, online see if I can get one. You can, I know I've bought them before. I have actually welded it before myself, um, but my welding's not uh, fantastic to say the least. So I'll probably uh, get it done properly. Um, yeah. So that's it. Let me know what you think of the car. Yet another car. I mustn't buy any more until I've sold a couple of cars now because uh, they're stacking up. I'm going to have to go and park this one over at my sister-in-law's, I think, because um, I've got nowhere to put it. Um, I can't put any of my cars out on the road because none of them are taxed. Um, this, one, this one is sawned. The grey one, I'm expecting the logbook either Saturday or Monday, and then I can tax it. And then once that new bumper... Once that new bumper is on, I can stick it out, I can tax it and stick it out on the road because it's MOT'd. They're all insured uh, on my trade insurance, but um, without tax, I can't park it out on the road or drive it. But, you know, I'll have to drive it over to my sister-in-law's because um, that's what I've got to do with it. Um, yeah, that's it. So, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, and until the next one, as always, take care, stay safe, and we will see you very soon.